Cooper St. Francis Healthcare's House Calls TV. Getting multiple infections in a year is not unusual for some people, especially for children. But when are recurring infections a sign of something more serious? Dr. Brian Dantzler explains. If they are getting um, bacterial infections, they're lasting a significantly greater length of time uh, requiring antibiotics, uh, then that might be a tip-off. When you just see recurring infections in what seems like a healthy individual, uh, there's got to be an answer. If you or a family member does have recurrent infections, don't be afraid to ask your doctor if there could be an underlying cause, like an immune deficiency. We would launch into a workup. And that's where Roper St. Francis would come in because they have good labs and we can check a lot of this immune system. Immune deficiencies can be very difficult to treat, but sometimes IV treatments can restore proteins the body needs to better fight infections. Frequently, that can be replaced and it might have to be done every month. And by doing so, keeping that normal level can block a lot of those infections and patients can lead a pretty normal life. For more information, call 402 CARE. And for more House Calls TV, go online to rsfh.com. I'm Angela May. Roper St. Francis Healthcare's House Calls TV.